Yeah. Hey, it's Mike here. I'm just going to break down the B-roll that you just watched, the chainsaw B-roll. It was pretty fun to shoot, and the editing was pretty fun too. I'm going to show you some things that I've been working on. Maybe it'll help you with your edits and to be more creative with the edits. So some of what I learned here was from the full-time filmmaker course. Um, so it's a pretty good course. You can uh, see it on YouTube. It's a full-time filmmaker. So the first thing that I did is the thumbnail. So I uploaded this to Instagram. And with Instagram, I wanted to have one frame here of a nice thumbnail. So that will show up first when the, the video is on the timeline or on the, uh, the page. So what I did, click this thing, this little uh, camera button here, and then I can export this as a image. And I did that and I brought it to the front. And then also what I did was sharpen, vibrance and saturation and the basic correction. I upped the contrast a lot just to make it stand out, to make it kind of pop off the page on Instagram. And one thing that I learned from full-time filmmaker, this is called the flicker effect. So pretty much I just take, it's the same video footage. So I have the, the footage on the bottom and then I put the same video on, or the same footage on top, same clip. And all I do is the clip above is gonna be black and white. So I have a frame of black and white, then I cut the next frame to the regular footage frame black and white cut regular so when you do that and you combine it it makes that flicker effect so it's just the same video but one is color and I make one black and white next thing oh so so I've been working on the sound design so I'm not playing the the video I'm just playing the sound design from this and these are I'll just play it uh, this is a foot yeah, the footstep and then the stomp. So I'm playing that from, or that's from Epidemic Sound with the sound design. And you can hear the, if you couldn't hear it right there, you can hear the full video or you can hear that, that clip when you watch the B-roll. Another thing, this is, um, they do a lot in the full-time filmmaker course. This is uh, speed ramps. So pretty much all I do is you make a, so you can take a point, so say I want to do right here I just hit control control and it just makes this I think control and then the left click on the mouse or my keyboard and it makes this point here so then I can drag this out and I can raise this the uh, the timeline so first you want to go to to change the let's see this you just click on the FX here right click and then time remapping and then speed so that would change this little bar here to speed. And then you just start, this is uh, the normal speed, and then I go up, increase it to about 1,000. And then I have the next clip is at 1,000 too, so then it zooms like that. And then I drop the speed back to 100. And also, on top of that, I have the Illuminate, or it's kind of the, it's like a lens flare. Just makes it... I thought it was cool to just help with the transition. And also the whoosh. So the whoosh again is from Epidemic Sound. It just helps everything flow better. And it just helps it. Uh, it just makes it a lot more interesting to watch. And again, and this clip right here. This is just an in-camera transition. As he drops the chainsaw, I drop the camera. So I'm dropping, he's, his movement is dropping the chainsaw and, I'm, and I follow that movement and drop the camera down. And the next footage, the next clip, I'm lifting the camera up. So that, the first one I drop the camera down, the second one I lift the camera up. And then I blend those together, add the, the whoosh sound again from Epidemic Sound and add the lens flare. And the next clip, so this is, uh, I'm using a stock film burn and I just lower the opacity to get that effect. And uh, again, this is a sound uh, sound design. I, there was no, in the camera, there was no liquid sound. It was just the all, this is an added effect for the liquid. 
just makes it more interesting again. Uh, and here, another speed ramp sound design. I have the sound of the door opening. And I have the speed ramp. Speed ramp transition. Back to the sound design of the door closing. There was no audio of that in the camera. This is all added after. And then here I just have this sound of picking something up. So right when the beat drops of the song, I have it cut into the chainsaw. So now the chainsaw. And I do a slow little slow motion. Then the other thing too is I do it what's called, I think it's called a J cut. So here I have the sound of the chainsaw and I keep the sound going while I have the other clip. So I have the original audio from this clip, but I go the next one and then the next clip while I'm still playing this audio. So I kept the audio going and played into the other two clips. So it's kind of a cool effect that you can do where you can you can have the audio from one clip and then it can lead into, in this case, the other two clips. And then again, I have the speed ramp. Same thing. I do the speed ramp with the lens flare and the whoosh. So it does that effect. And then I go into some slow-mo here. And then I drop the camera down as it transitions into the door closing. And then I just fade out. And from here, you can see where the thumbnail comes from. So that's uh, had too much oil on the thing and it made a little flame. But that's where the thumbnail comes from. I just took this picture of it, put that in the front, made the thumbnail. And that's uh, the editing from the Chainsaw B-Roll. So hopefully you got something out of that. If you're interested in videography, I'm going to upload a lot more videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.